Star scorecard, five point, uh, cheat code, 5.6a. So here we're talking about cubes, volumes, and fill. you got to fill units inside of a space, inside of a void, right? So cube, we know three-dimensional figures, okay? Prisms, okay? And then volume is, is length times width times height. So this, we're going to have two, two videos for this, um, not two, but two videos for this cheat code. And here's the vocab. This is video number one. Area times the base. So this is, how do you get area of the base? Well, that's length times width. So the base layer is just your, your bottom layer, right? So here is the, is the bottom layer, right? Number of layers. That's the horizontal rows of cubic units. So we can break that into layers. It's four layers tall. Volume is the amount of a three-dimensional space as, uh, as something takes up. So the volume is all of these different cubes, cubic units, that is in this rectangular prism. Okay, And then the height is how tall something stands. So these are the different formulas. You have to know the different formulas for how to find volume. Length times width times height, so that's my favorite. Okay, if you have a cube, you can just do side times side times side. If it's a cube, every side is the same length. But that's just the same as saying length times width times height. Here, that's my favorite, okay? And then volume is base times height. Well, if you have the base, that's the length times width, and then you have the height, oh, base equals length times width, and then here's the height. So everything always comes back to length times width times height. Just learn that volume or that, that formula and you'll be good to go. So, Judy, what does Judy want? Judy wants to find the volume of a cube. And a cube is like a square, but it's three dimensional, so every side is the same. Okay, what steps should she follow? Length times width times height. That's it. If you want volume, length times width times height. End of story. Okay, it's not addition. We're not doing addition. Length times width times height. What are you doing divided by three? No. Length times width times height, and that's it. Number two. So geometry, this, this definitely falls under geometry. Sometimes people can see shapes better than others. Geometry, so, sometimes these are really hard for people. Sometimes it's really easy. Slow down. Just always go slow when you see these pictures. Double check your work. Hank made this model to represent the size of his box. Okay, how many cubic units is his box? So each one of these cubes is one cubic unit. Okay, so let's do length times width times height. So here is the depth. That is one, two, okay? And how wide is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so it's nine. And how tall is it? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine times nine times two. Okay, so let's do this. Nine times nine is 81, as we know our times tables. 81 times two is uh, two. Two times eight is 16, 162. Bingo. This number two, it's too deep. Okay? So you have to do the area of the front and then you have to multiply it by two. All right. Now, this is the question that I was talking about. Some people see shapes easier than others. Some people really, really struggle. Mrs. Cooper is filling a box with one centimeter cubes. See the figure below. Bingo. How many more cubes will fit into this box? I don't know. We, so how many more cubes? So we have to find the total volume, and then we have to subtract the number of cubes that she has here. That's really difficult. Okay? So let's find the, the, the and this is, looks kind of weird on the projector, I know. Um, let's count how many tall it is. Okay? So this base layer, and there's one cube behind it, so we'll go one, two, three, four. It's four tall. Right, four tall, and how how uh, how many is it the, the deep or, or long? One, two, three, four, five, 
six. It's six this way. And then how many right here? One, two, three, four, five. And then it's it's five across. So five times four times six. Or five times four times six. Five times four is twenty. Twenty times six is zero one hundred twenty. So the cube, look, 120. Wrong, that's the wrong answer. Okay, because it says how many more cubes will fit in there. So we know that we have 120 cubes total, and now let's subtract. One, two, three, okay? Four, five, and then there's a cube right here back behind it, right? So, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's seven so far, and that's that's right here. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So seven plus fifteen is twenty-two. Twenty-two. One hundred. Okay, one. So ten minus two is eight. 0, 11 minus 2 is 9, 98. I just did that. I have an easy time seeing shapes. If you have a hard time, sorry. Um, take your time and count and just recount and recount. Okay, that is difficult to see the shapes in your head and to see the cubes, how they stack behind. It's difficult. I get it. Um, if you need a help one-on-one, -on -one, let me know. Just give me a call and we can work on practice problems like this together. A rectangular prism is made of one centimeter cubes shown below. What is the volume of the rectangular prism? Volume is length times width times height. So we're too tall, right? Too tall and we're too deep. Two. And then how wide? One, two, three, four, five. Two times two is four. 4 times 5 is 20. 20 cubic centimeters. And here we go. Rebecca is filling a cube shaped box with small cubes. Okay, cubes in a cube. That like cube, 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 cube. What do we know about cubes? Cubes are like squares. Every side length is the same. Remember that. The volume of each of these cubes is 1 cubic centimeter. She has already put some cubes into the box, as shown in the model. What is the total number of small cubes that will fit in the box? Cube is like a square. So let's count them and then we'll multiply length times width times height, right? Uh, length times, you know, height and width, okay? L W H. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine times nine is 81. 81 times 9 is uh, 9, and then 72, 729. Look, 81, they give you the first answer. Wrong, 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 wrong. And 27, look, if you do 27, uh, 9 times 3, well, that is 27, right? Wrong. They give you two of the answers that are, you're like, oh, that could be right. It, it's not right. Length times width times height. And with the cube, side times side times side. It, it's length times width times height. 729. All right. Thanks, guys, for watching these videos. See you next time.